I am Dr. Anisia Vegas and I am explaining to you today about a natural way of healing cancer. Now, can, I am an MD in alternate medicine, I am an MD in acupuncture. But the easiest disease to cure is cancer. It's very simple. Cancer, you, when you, we say cancer, everybody is frightened. Not to be afraid. All of us have a few cancer cells in our body. Now, when any organ in our body gets weak, those, the cancer cells attack that. So, the simplest way to kill cancer is to deprive your body from sugar and milk. Now, sugar and milk is the main food for cancer cells. So, when the cancer cells are deprived from sugar, you don't give the person sugar, nor do you give the person sugar products. Now sugar has sucrose and fructose. Sugar from the fruits is excellent, but sugar directly or sugar products is bad. The cancer cells eat them and they just reproduce, they multiply. Milk and milk products. Again milk, mucus is bad, it forms mucus. The cancer cells survive on sugar and milk, so it's imperative that you do not give the patient sugar and milk and sugar products and milk products. It's better if the patient takes an alkaline meal. See, our body, our stomach is alkaline. So when you eat alkaline food, it's easy to digest the food. So if you can't give the patient an alkaline diet, then you can do a thing. You just give the patient at the end of every meal a quarter of a saline. Now saline is acidic, but the moment it enters the system, it becomes alkaline. Okay, so now what I promote basically is oxygen therapy instead of chemo. Chemo, you have to understand, chemical therapy. Oh, oxygen therapy or ozone or whatever you call it is very simple. When we breathe in ox pure oxygen, pure oxygen kills the cancer cells immediately and revives the other cells. Whereas chemo, chemo means chemical therapy. Chemical therapy, when you enter the chemical into the system, yes, it kills the cancer cells, but along with the cancer cells, it kills the good cells as well. So if you do not want the good cells and you only want the, uh, the cancer cells to go, you have to give the patient something called oxygen therapy. You can monitor it at home. It's so simple. It works to two, two rupees a session. Okay, so you have to invest on an oxygen cylinder with with a thing like this and a meter and all so that you know how to do so check this out this is the oxygen cylinder now this is the gauge how much oxygen now my tank doesn't have much oxygen okay mm -hmm. this is the gauge and this is where you have to be careful now do not give more than two don't keep it at more than two level so the oxygen enters here then it comes and then this will come up you see this will come up so don't take it more than two when you are administrating the oxygen, it will be at less than 2. Always less than 2. Because if you give more than 2 and if you give a long time, it can hit the brain. Yeah? So now I am going to release the oxygen and I will show you how it is done. This is a bit low. Anyway, the moment it comes to 1, okay, you start like this. See? You take. Now when I take in oxygen through the mouth, it's going directly into my stomach. Okay. okay. So I give five times inhaling through the mouth. Mm -hmm. And you can hold your hand like this. If the patient is weak, just keep the thing here. But if the patient is able to do... <sighs> so you inhale through the mouth, exhale through the mouth. Okay. So when you do that, it's going directly into your stomach. Okay. Then the second is nose. Okay. okay? Inhale through one nostril, exhale through the no. mouth. No, not at all. It's see the chest. It goes to your chest. So do this ten, five times, five times here, then around the eye. You put this around the eye. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then keep here. Okay, count five times. Right here, the oxygen goes in, starts repairing everything. Here, it repairs again. Then, you have to use two pipes. Yeah, I had another pipe here. You have to use two pipes. You can use this here. If the patient is very bad, if it's a pancreatic or a liver, then you have to keep at uh, level one and a half. You give them for a long time. Give two, three hours together. 
okay because the pancreas and the liver takes a little long to heal mm -hmm. otherwise breast cancer anywhere else supposing the breast there's a growth put put a lot of oxygen there it's directly the skin is breathing and the uh, the thing starts becoming smaller okay then you have another pipe which will in you remove this pipe you we'll use the other pipe and you keep the pipe like this you will keep the pipe near the rectum okay and the moment you keep it at near the rectum you keep it at level 1 here at level 1 keep it near the rectum for half a minute okay you will feel the stomach coming bloating yeah it will bloat slightly the moment it bloats the patient will sit like this go to the toilet and it will release the oxygen from the rectum only okay so th that is directly from the rectum and it's excellent because it is fast if you want the healing to happen fast Mm -hmm. this should be given fast I'll, I'll just show you on the video only the rules first rule is do not put a ring into this finger okay because you get the good energy from this finger through this finger second do not cross the legs when you're sitting because there's no flow of energy okay. third no sugar no milk no sugar products no milk mm -hmm. products and very important very beneficial and really curative is papaya leaf brown papaya leaves powder them keep them as a tea use one teaspoon brew it give the person to drink twice squeeze little lime plus i have a very medicinal porridge which which is a very ancient medicine that my grandfather or great grandfathers to use which i managed to get i prepare a porridge with that and i give that to the patient how to prepare that porridge also i will I have written down, you have to yeah. just cook the porridge in coconut milk, add little jaggery and you have to add turmeric leaf. If you can't get the turmeric leaf, then you add turmeric powder and little salt. And in the morning, first thing, give the patient a bowl of that porridge, medicinal porridge. Okay, with these few things, within a month, the patient will be so cured completely cured. The patient may die of anything else but not of cancer. That I can assure you. Yeah. Thank you.